How you doing folks, Tom Horton here, and today we're checking out a little indie game called Chicory, A Colorful Tale. I saw this pop up on Game Pass recently, and it came out just a couple weeks ago, I think, actually. Looking at the uh, build down there, it says 5-15-23. So it came out about mid to late May of this year. Just wanted to check the controls right quick. Holding buttons, okay. The <laughs> Toggle cursor stick with L. Nuh uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nuh uh. <laughs> Some. Nada. Uh, controller stick dead zone. Eye strain helper flashing effects. No thanks. Because I am considerate of those that are epileptic. Screen shake. Yup. Nope. <laughs> Wet sounds, enable or disable wet sounds, which might be gross. Well, that's not. <laughs> I love this game already. It's just the fucking options here. Uh, text effects, font style fun, readable. Let's keep it on fun. Nah. Don't want to be too boring about this. Teleport to luncheon. If an issue happens and you are stuck, select this during gameplay to warp to safety. Let's see who made this game. Boss fight skip option. Yes, please. Uh, when potentially... S content warnings. Warnings when potentially sensitive content is about to occur. All right. Apparently, it's going to be one of those kinds of games. Uh, let's keep that off, actually. Because I don't usually like those kinds of things there. If there is anything that pops up that'll be disturbing for you guys, then just um, feel free to just not watch that. Or, you know, just watch with caution, I guess. Because, um... <clears throat> I kind of want things to flow naturally in these games. I don't want it to be like, oh, this thing's about to happen here. Like, no. I want to actually do that there. Um, so that's pretty good. Okay, let's try... Let's just get into the game. So I think this is going to be a relatively short game. Huh. What's your favorite food? Hmm. I would have to say pizza. I would kill a man for some good za. The magic paintbrush. It's every stroke fills our world with color. Does it now? Naturally, someone has to wield it. The brush has been passed down through the ages. But the current wielder, Chicory. She's so cool! A total genius! Our world's never looked better thanks to her. And that's why it's up to me to keep her tower clean. There we are. Alright, so. Alright, so here. Oh, I see. <laughs> so we gotta do this kind of stuff here. We're sweeping the walls, which doesn't seem very practical. Well, possibly. Do I have to get everything around here? Just sweeping up all the dust bins here. Goodness great. Why? Oh. Apparently I did something wrong. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but it's something. It's certainly something weird. I'm just sweeping up everything, I guess. Does that have to be exact, or can I move a few spots around? 
Oh, there's that. Uh, I'm gonna try to be as thorough as I can. Uh, why do you keep pausing? Like, is there some I should know about here? Are these like sensitive items from somebody else that you don't want to be going around with? All right. Oh no! All of Chicory's colors. I must have cleaned too hard. I've got to go tell her right away. Oh no. Odd. Wasn't there color here earlier? Ooh, yeah, this portrait. It's Almon, the classic wielder. One of the first to really show her personality and her coloring. After her, wielder styles became much more diverse. You have to respect her legacy. Hmm, this one. I think this one is Carrot. And I'm not just saying that because it looks like a pig. He was okay. Really experimental. Even at the time, I don't think it was very popular. But I know he has some fans still. Hello, Marcus. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. <laughs> Ooh, this one's parfait. She was colorful and heroic, just like Chicory. If she were here, she'd probably say, Don't worry, pizza. It's <laughs> oh, so we're named... Okay. <laughs> it's fine that all the colors just vanish for no reason. <laughs> I should probably stop procrastinating. Chicory needs to know what's going on. But I want to see all the things. Ah. I wanted to see all the portraits, though. <laughs> I didn't get to read that one. The hell, man. I wanted to read all the things. Chicory's brush. What is this doing out there? You remember when we played RDR? Yeah, I remember you being here. <laughs> Chicory! I'm sure she's there. But she left her brush just lying here. Uh, everyone must be panicking. Hmm. What if... I used the brush! Just like she would! I'm sure she'd appreciate the help. Maybe... At least for a bit. Ooh, we got a choice. Uh, let's take it. You got the brush. Ooh, hello. Helpful. Oh, now we're making everything blue. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Make everything blue. Everything. <laughs> doesn't even matter if it doesn't match the fucking original color scheme. Everything must be... What is this? Like sea green? Sea blue or something? Like uh, turquoise or whatever? Let's see if I can just make all of these blue. I can understand making the frames blue, but why the actual, um... <clears throat> okay, anyway. To the Shikari's room. It's locked. I hope she's okay. Good thing she has me to help. <laughs> yeah, the fact that I just store stuff. Chapter 1. The Dark Forest. <laughs> Nobody had a candle in sight. Blue trees. <laughs> Have you played RDR2 before? I played it a little bit on the PS4, but I sort of only got a little bit to the beginning of it. I only played like a few hours of it because I was still in the beginning. I will probably get to that um, sometime this year. I'm not sure when, but possibly in the next couple months or so. Probably not immediately because I've got a lot of other games that I wanted to check out for the summer, but... Possibly in the fall, maybe? Like after Halloween or something? That seems like a good enough time to do so. 
right now I'm just painting everything blue. Can I change colors? I can! Ah! <laughs> Let's add a little bit of yellow in the middle. Nice. I wonder if there's a way I can like... Oh, okay, so... Red bumper changes the color and left bumper changes the brush strokes. So I can just make a big brush strokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we can cover bigger areas. Oh, I got a little painted on myself. This game is just delightful <laughs> so far, just. The fact that you could just go through all of these, <laughs> just make all these colors happen, just feels fun. <laughs> just should try is the best. Love to cannot stop playing it. It's the best story of my life. Hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out at some point. Whenever, whenever I can, because I have a huge backlog of games already, so. I'll see when I can make time for it. I mean, recently I tried um, a game that one of my regulars, uh, Ariel, suggested to me that Wolfenstein game, and it was all right, but it was kind of boring, honestly, to me. It's the, the story didn't really intrigue me as much as I thought it would. So I kind of stopped right then and there. And of course I tried Diablo 2 yesterday, which... Um, I do like those those action RPGs with like the top-down screen, but I don't think they make for very interesting streams, so I'm just going to play that in my spare time instead. Supper Woods this way. Oh, that's where Blackberry lives. The wielder before Chicory. A living legend. Just like Rob Paulson. Maybe she knows what's going on. But I should check on the townspeople too. Nibble Tunnel. Oh my god. What is this? Time. Do you know about drawing with other people? If you pause with that and select begin co-op, someone else can play with you with an extra brush. Drawing together can be nice. I know it always helps me relax. Does this help you relax? <laughs> Just splattering color everywhere? Is that a little... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think a whole game is just going to be me doing this. <laughs> I imagine this is easier to do with a mouse or so because I think this is this is on Steam as well. So mm. let's get a bit of purple in here as well. Just to spruce little things up a bit. Nice even strokes. Go up in here. Mm -hmm. Nice to think about here. I should probably have a better orientation for how to do this. <laughs> but then again, I was never good at colors when I was in there. I could draw pretty well, but I never really got the color thing down pretty well. Even though I was taught it multiple times in art class in school, I still can't really get colors down that well. I just fucking splatter them on there. <laughs> yeah, let's get a little bit of this color in here, too. Just... Uh... Just make it a multicolored platform. There we go. <laughs> I 
Now we're on Rainbow Road. Wait. That little bit of color there, thinking it could escape from me. Pumpernickel. Chicory thought you were worthy of the brush. Mm. Wielders simply aren't as good as they used to be. I miss the days of Blackberry. Hey! Chicory is our mailing wielder! Well, if you like that sort of thing. Mm. But Blackberry lives just to the southeast in the supper woods. You should go and meet her. All right, well, first I'm going to put some colored piss on you. For disrespecting my homegirl. You piece of shit. You can just fuck around whenever you want to. You can just disrespect my bitch like that. All right, let's get a little more. Let's get a little more green. And such. I'm sorry, I know I should be present with the story, but this mode is just. It's too addicting, man. It's just too fun to do. Just having control of all the colors. <laughs> Cause that's the thing I don't really mention as much that I am a bit of an artist myself. I again I don't really understand colors too well, but I do like drawings in my spare time. Well I don't do it as often as I would have wanted to, but you know, it's something I enjoy doing and um as you may notice, I've self-drawn some of my own thumbnails before, even though they're not in the highest of quality. But, yeah. I do like games like this, where they have, like, a nice art style, and also where it incorporates different art styles and whatnot. Oi! My ass ain't got no colors no more! Fix it! Give me some tough colors! You got it? Tough colors only! And if you didn't already know, you can change colors with a Roy Plumper. You fucking wanker. Chop chop. Well, how's this? You know, fuck you. <laughs> Gonna give you the pink color instead. Oi! Those colors. They're so tough. I love them. You really did a bang up job. I gotta thank you. If I thank you, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Yeah, hope you love that. As much as I love these tough colors, only real men wear pink. <laughs> Thanks again. Yeah. What's going on? Pizza. Oh, this is where we live. Okay. It's my house. Yeah. I guess it's fairly sparse. Keeping the tower clean has always been priority one. I'm a filthy bootlicker. <laughs> let's see, let's give ourselves a little purple floor. Nice, okay. Then make the bed blue. Okay, so we can just, um. So if we just want to. Tap things that just once that we can just do. Um... Okay, here we go. So we can only seem to do one layer at a time. I see. Okay, it's gonna take me a little while to figure out exactly how this works here, but I'm starting to get it. So if we want to just color in one kind of object, then we just. Um... You know, we just just tap it once, and then we hold the button to, uh, like, do little strokes like this here. Like you would an actual paintbrush. And then sometimes you get caught in the, uh, thing there, okay. It's like, 
so I can learn how to properly paint this area instead of just scribbling around like a fucking two-year-old. <laughs> But it's so, but it's so much more fun to just do this. It's like not figure out any fucking other shit. This is a very kind of peaceful game. Yeah, then we just paint this wall. Perfect. Here, this area where I just Let's just paint this guy here. kind of reminds me of um, a little bit I don't know if anybody has ever played Drawn to Life on the DS but it kind of reminds me of that where you just like obviously this has more freedom than Drawn to Life does but it kind of reminds me of like where you just draw things and then whatever you draw becomes part of that world <clears throat> this is very nice pickle oh hey pizza is that the brush did you steal it Wall, whatevs. Good talk. Now get blue, bitch. <laughs> wow. Well, this... Okay. Lemon. Oh, oh, hello, pizza. Everything lost color suddenly. What's going on? And why do you have Chicory's brush? It feels like something is horribly wrong. You're not an artist, you fucking Philistine car. Well, if you have the brush, can you come to my house back in? Um, however you like. Uh, not that I would stifle your creativity or anything, but... Uh. Okay, let's give you a little blues ceiling here. Such and let's see exterior. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, but uh, I'm sorry. I got a bit of the rickets. I got, I got a. <laughs> I'm having a bit of the diabetes. Can you erase it a bit? You can use less trigger to do that. Oh, really now? I'll tell you when to stop erasing. Oh, oh that, that's enough. Thanks. It wasn't how I liked it before. But you can color it again if you want. I'd really like it if you colored it differently. Okay, so maybe... Maybe just, uh... Like this house here? Does this do anything here? Uh... Does this satisfy you? Oh, are you done then? Um, th uh, that's fine then. I certainly won't go into a, an ADHD-filled rage because of it. It's just so different from how Chicory did it. She, she knew how to tickle my buttons and you're just average. But thanks. You fucking cured. And Supper Woods is over here. What? Okay. Shake her. Oh, what? What be this? Uh. 
What is that? Lost kid. You found a lost kid. Okay. There's a prison over there. How do I get said prison? Got you. <laughs> a gift. You got a beanie. Hell yeah. Okay, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> so I gotta go down. Get rid of these fellas. There, there. Then pick these things back up. Shit. There you go. Then bring it around town. Cross over here. Where is this? Hmm. <sighs> Did Chicory give you that brush? Yeah. So it's worse than I thought. The cucks are coming out of the woodworks right now. You don't seem ready. I hope I'm wrong. How about a little bit of this? <laughs> Come this way. Okay. How do I, uh... Ooh, hello. This is interesting. So now we got a new mechanic of these flinging trees. And oopla, oopla, oopla. Fucking nice. That's where the flower dress, why not? Makes that look pretty. <laughs> Have those set back to when you get back. Then set these up here. Nicely done. Boink. Which way should I go? Left or? Uh, let's go up. Never mind. Uh huh. Can I go the other? Nope, I cannot. Alright, well, shit. Fuck. Alright, hold on. Nope. Damn it. Mmm. <laughs> Slam. Done the splat. Okay, let's just go this way then. Another gift. A sun hat. Hell yeah, I'll put that on. Can never go wrong with a sun hat. Hey, Bjorn. Look at the streams here. Got a little bit of an interesting game going on today called Chicory. I'm not quite sure how to get down. Oh, we got different colors now, do we? over there. Leave it a 
long. Yeah. Oof. And oof. Another gift. Got a bow. Oh. Huh. Oh, there's like a little bow over on the thing here. Let's go back to the sun hat. Colors can change. What's going on over there? Like some kind of cave. School the comic book grayscaling effect. Yeah. Kinda looks like what you use for the uh what is it, transparent backgrounds for like PNGs or whatever. Where the hell am I supposed to be going? Here, bam, bam, bam. Oh, what? Okay, there we go. Days. Well, I guess we have to do this then. Or not. Luncheon. Wait. Oh, hey. You see any critters around? My kids went and wandered off. For the millionth time. Oh, you're the one who found my kid. Much appreciated. Well, if you see more, send them me. I'll be keeping an eye on them. Come in and say hi sometime. And have a good old round of drinks. Gulp Swamp. Uh -huh. Very expansive kind of land. Another lost kid. So that's two of them. So I guess anytime we try to paint a tree and it goes back to immediately white, that means a uh, lost kid is there. Shine down. Go ahead and paint up this whole land. Yeah, I found another one of your kids. Oh, you already saw. Hmm. Hey, the kids are alright. I ain't about to take my eyes off them anytime soon. But I'm worried about the others out there. I'm still missing two. Little rascals. Well, I saw another one out some other way. First, what's in this cave? So, fucking hell. Here. What is it? Yum Cave. Ooh. Interesting. What was I doing the Yum Cave? Let's suppose those little wet sounds they were talking about in the options menu. So 
there like a secret message I'm supposed to code here or something? I don't know. Probably like a bonus thing or something. I don't know what the hell that one guy was at. He was like, come this way, and then he just disappears. I just slip by this. I, I can't go this way. Great. So, shit. Boink, 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 boink. Again. Ah, there's a path over here. Just picked up some litter. Great. <laughs> Here. Ooh, hello, gift. You've got starry tree. Or starry tea. Yeah, why not? Well, how do I get to the child? How do I get to you, child? I do not know. Do I adventure some other way? Maybe. Fucking hell. Well, I forgot how to do this somewhere. Then splat. Up here. Okay, so there's another cave there, and then an entrance way back down. Hang on. This is confusing. So back here. Blam, 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 blam. Yes. Back here. There's like another way over here that I can go. But then there's something else over here too. How do I get to these places? Watch yeah. out. Oh. Mm. The lost kid. Okay, so that's three. I know where that last one is. I just can't get to it. And then that way it's apparently blocked off. Gulp swamp this way. Can I not walk through the... I can go this far, but it won't let me fucking... Because I know this is the way that I gotta go to... Get to the next path, but like... How doth I get to the other path? I don't know. Gulf Swamp... Then this way. Hmm. Now this game's starting to confuse me. So it's over here. Then I do this shit with that. Yeah. I didn't go up that way though. Hold on a second. Here. I didn't go up the top past this gift, however, and took that out. Okay. Aha! Litter. Okay, 
this. What good does that do me? Ooh, hello. Another hidden gift. Stripey tea. Yeah. <laughs> There's that frantic lemon chick down there. Uh, so other than that, I'm not sure where else to go. Supper Woods. What is this? It's locked. Oh, just wait a second. <laughs> Sorry, running a bit late today. Shoot, I forgot to get dressed. I better press this button to change clothes. Because <laughs> I just have a random Xbox controller in my hand. <laughs> Much better. Okay, come on in. Kind of thought those yellow things were shrooms. <laughs> well, there, yeah, little things here. So this chick's name is Cola. Nice. Well, hey there, pizza. I say we go well together. <laughs> What's new at the tower? No. There's no way. <laughs> Pizza Tower? God damn it. <laughs> I set that up too perfectly. <laughs> By naming myself Pete. <laughs> to explain there, um, it asked me at the beginning of the game, in case you missed it, what my favorite food was, and I put pizza there. And that's what they named my character. And... <laughs> Oh my god, that's too perfect. <laughs> I see Chicory lent you the brush. Mm, you could say that. You know, this is great timing. You could say that again, Cola. <laughs> I was just thinking our shirt design was stale. Oh, I missed. Okay, so... Basically, um, at the beginning of the game... It asked me what my favorite food was. I put pizza. And that uh, that's apparently what they named my character here. And she just asked... This lady here, Cola, asked me what's new at the tower. And... <laughs> just kind of put the point there. Pizza tower. Like that new indie game that just came out. That just set up too perfectly there. <laughs> mm. Anyway, <laughs> want to draw us a new shirt? Yeah, why not? Great. Everyone will be excited a new wielder did it. Just do whatever you want. Don't fret. You can. Don't forget you can use left bumper to change brush size. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a new kind of shirt. Let's go ahead and do. Little side here. Run this here. Maybe I'm gonna go a little bit like here. Then another 
course, grab the side like that. I don't know how good this is going to look, but I'm just trying anyway. at the bottom right there oh okay kind of kind of went over the limit but yeah no fuck let's just do this whole fucking there. that's good enough yeah wow it looks Great! I can't let you leave without taking one. Oh, jeez. Uh, put that away. Hey, mate. Loving the new shirt. It really catches your personality. Which is not very strong to begin with. <laughs> Make sure you wear it everywhere. So everyone knows to come to our cafe. Well, this place could use a little more color, should we say, so let's go ahead and paint up all this doof. Give it a good old stroke and paint. See if we can actually make this look sort of presentable. Yeah, it's all coming together now. Here. Here. Yeah, it's good enough. Okay, so now we're up here. This is back where we painted that one guy's house. And this is our house over here. What is this all about now? Basil. Hello, hello, pizza. Care for a small garden and tip? Some flowers grow when in color, but others don't grow only when blank. If you wish to erase a colored one, you can use left trigger. But don't be coloring any of my plants now, yeah? Litter. Oh, damn it. There's another cave over there. I'm gonna try to get pea and ginger. How do you do, pizza? Chicory gave you the brush. Have you developed your style yet? There are so many ways to color. I know what mine would be. I'd use the light bumper to make my brush huge and color everything super fast. Well, that's more or less what I've been doing anyway, so, yeah. 
That's definitely the best style. Hmm. I think I'd use Leftover to make my brush smaller. And right... Oh. To zoom in, you say? So I can take my time adding small details. No, that's wrong. Haven't you learned from Twitter? You're always wrong no matter what you do. That's a horrible style. All right, how about this? <laughs> Doink. Oh. Hmm. What a nicely balanced style for our home. A mix of detail and simplicity. Very pleasing. I guess. It's fine. I don't really like it that much, but pop off then, sis. Canvas number four. This used to be one of Chicory's paintings. I guess it's got wiped up too. The Potluck Art Academy is in charge of these. Well, let's go ahead and make up. Oh, really? I would have thought we can make our own thing here. Well, I guess we can't. So this multicolored mess over here. What was up this way again? Oh yeah, this pickle here. A lot of these places that we can go to, but I'm not quite sure how to get there. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. So I don't have to keep using. Okay. So now I know how to get past that there. There you go now. That's fine. There, Bjorn. Uh, always glad to have you in the stream when you can be here. The next one, hopefully. Yeah. I'll try to have a more full stream schedule next week. It's been kind of um, finicky these last couple weeks and whatnot. I'm sort of getting it. Okay, so now I have a better understanding of what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Doink, doink, doink. All the lost kids, I believe. Should be. Let's have to check back with that person. Well, fuck, now I'm stuck here. Oh, wait, never mind. Aha. Let's go on back and check with that poison. Blam, 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 blam. Spoilerly blam. Back in the ocean. 
Hey, this is my whole litter. Cute, huh? When they aren't giving me a conniption. I feel like I owe you one. Got a headband. Nice. It ain't much, but I hope it's handy for you. Sure thing. Kitten caboodle. Nice. I wonder what all those we can do in this game. Hold on. Just check the cheese. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Let's uh, reveal the details in that. Meet your hero. Phone call. Muse. Ancient Beast of the Darkness. Apprenticeship. Standing on the mountain. Top. Honored history. More than myself. Respect. Something new. End of an era. Shit. Oh, another secret one. Mm. Clothing curious. Collect 25% of clothing items. Collect 50% of clothing items. All clothing items. Trash mammal. Pick up 25% of litter. 30% on the... 25 decor, all decor, picture brush styles, all brush styles. Lost and found. Complete all art classes. Hmm. Deliver mail for artichoke. Such great heights. Uh, explorer. Cartographer. Picture perfect. Turnabout squeeze. And passion for fashion. Solve all of Oates' outfit riddles. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to do all that in this stream here. I don't even think we're making this a full series. I just wanted to check this out a little bit to see what the hell is going on. So far, I'm digging it, man. Like, um, <clears throat> It's definitely got a good art style to it, but mm, I wouldn't say I'm terribly invested in it. Well, I'm not as invested as I would be with something else. I'm also going to have a lot of other games to go through. Uh, uh, it's hard for me to put my feelings into words sometimes, man. Just, um, just trying to figure out exactly how to feel about these certain games here because there's definitely a lot to like about this, and. Um, there's a lot of shit that I wouldn't. Okay, so this way goes down. But how do I get down there? This figure is going over here. Well, I guess, yeah, it's the only place we haven't gone to yet. Flippy floppiness. Dark woods trees. More litter. Another payphone here. The only number I have memorized is my parents. I guess I could call them. They always know what to do when I'm lost or stuck. They're the best. Call home. Ooh, this place looks bad. Spark up a little things now, will we? Make it a nice orange home.
Let's do a little bit of this around here. Exterior. Poof, 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 poof. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Okay, that's all that done. I'd say it looks pretty nice. Okay, so that's all I've done. Did I come on this one? I did, yeah, okay. But what's in the cave, however? I didn't get to check in the cave. Another yum cave. Not too sure about that one. No idea what to do with the caves. But I do know how to do this. Maybe not. But yes, I do. Got a scarf. Why can't I wear the scarf and the hat itself? Okay, now I'm down here. What the hell? Well, that didn't do much for me. 
get this extra good gift. That gift up there, though. How do I get to these things? The hoodie, hell yeah. What was that? Weird. Make all these trees orange. Even though it's technically not Halloween yet. We're in a dark forest, so... What's going on in here? Deers. This don't seem right. Ah, oh, yeah. You finally made it. After like a whole hour of being silly. This is what I wanted to show you. I've never seen anything like it. But if Chicory thinks you deserve the brush, it's your responsibility to face it. What exactly is going on? What happened to my apprentice's colors? And where is she? You shouldn't be here. Well, shit. Oh, God. Oh hell. It's our first ball, goodness gracious. Alright. This don't seem right, man. Fuck Christ. Oh dear, no! Oh Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Get the fucking paint in your eye, you little freak. Fuck. Fucking Jesus. No. Can this eyeball take? Let me get paint in your eye once, it's like all over for you. Hmm. Does that prove that I'm worthy to be here? Chapter 2 A Wielder's Duty. I gotta continue playing. What was that? A corruption. Out of nowhere, it started growing here. But even I didn't expect it to attack. I only got out thanks to you. Chicory could learn a thing or two from you. Even though I just told you you shouldn't be here. I flip flop on emotions a lot. I kind of have that bipolar disorder, you know. I tried to get a medication for it, but nobody had a strong enough medication for my mental ass. My old apprentice. This is all her responsibility. She should never have sent you. She's a coward. How could I stop? 
saying bad things about chicory. She didn't give me the brush. I took it. And I might not know what's going on, but whatever it is, chicory can handle it. You don't know her at all. You messed up, kiddo. You played yourself. You have no idea how precious that brush is. You risked us all by taking it. I, I didn't think about that. You're lucky to be alive right now. And if you know what's good for you, you'll take that brush right back to Chicory and Luncheon. Go! Your bun with the brush. Your paint will now glow in dark places. But you probably should still give it back to Chicory. There. Your bun with the brush grows strong, grew stronger. But don't let that go to your head. Take that brush and return it to the lunch now. Well, now we can actually go into caves. Not back over there. But, uh... There's a cave up here. You could do. Yum Cave. Ah, I see. Fucking nice. Nice little pink cave going on here. Nice little strokes and whatnot. Mm hmm. Let's see where the hell it is we are going. Lots of these caves, aren't there? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not speaking a whole lot either, but it's just like I'm honestly just so enraptured by this mechanic of like being able to paint everything. It really adds a lot to the game, like to its own personality and whatnot. Just being able to paint everything and just fucking do everything you can, just. Doing whatever's. We got a way to go up here. Yeah, 
this. So we got a way to go up here. Trek all the way around. Which is always fun to do. Of course, we got a way down here. This also gives me kind of uh, Undertale vibes as well, in a way. Mostly because of these caves, and uh, it kind of reminds me of the one section where um, you go into like the underground caves and whatnot. Granted, I haven't finished Undertale, but that's about as far as I got in my original series on it. Gift, you fuck, you fuck. Round glasses. I don't really need no glasses. I don't need no stinking glasses. So this is where it comes into play with all these like um, these um, plants and whatnot. And I'm assuming I can walk on top of the mushrooms there. So this is giving me the place. In. Okay, I went first. All this place I can go over here. Okay, yeah, all this in here. So they can be activated by... Uh-huh, that's pretty clever. That's interesting. Clever stuff. So that's all I can explore in there. So our house is in Supper Woods. Yeah. Guess we got to go back. Tower. 
Chicory! Are you there? I have your brush. I took it. But I shouldn't have. Uh, can I come in? I just want to give your brush back. Fine. Come in. Oh. Chicory! You're that janitor. Pizza, right? Yes. I'm sorry for taking your brush. I was confused with all the color gone. Uh, you don't know why that happened, do you? No. Anyway, um, please take it back. Actually. Forget it. Huh? You keep it. Huh? I can't take this from you. You're the wielder. The best one ever. Not anymore. I don't understand. I, I really look up to you. Taking this means everything to me. Just take it. Okay. I'll do it. I'll color everything back in and make you proud, Chicory. Sure. Now leave me alone. I'll do my best, Chicory. Any tips on using the brush? Hey. Stop that. Hey! I said stop that. It's annoying. Stop! Are you okay? No. I'm depressed. Uh, oh. Do you want to talk about it? No. I want you to leave me alone. Go away. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So we literally can't do anything right now. Oh, goddamn. Excuse me. I was looking for the wielder, but, um, I thought it was Chicory. I'm the new wielder. What seems to be the problem? It's the wielder temple. Some creepy trees grew all over it. All the colors vanished. It's a total mess. But especially because it's the wielder temple, I thought Chicory might know what to do. I can handle it. Okay. You'll have to take the nibble tunnel to the potluck. Um, but the whole tunnel went pitch black. It was so scary getting here. Okay, bye. Well, all right then. I'm gonna go on a nibble tunnel, I suppose. Whatever nibble tunnel, maybe. Use nibble tunnel. Maybe over here somewhere. Oh, what? Hey. He just sitting there. Alright. Looks about. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Pea and Pickle. Pea Pickle. <laughs> Notice my cool new shirt? Pretty slick design, right? T-shirts by the wielder are a snazzy collector's item. It'll be worth a fortune in a few years, I bet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love this new shirt. It's probably the best shirt design they've had here. 
at least for me. I feel like it's totally my style. Thank you for making it. <laughs> sure thing, eh? Let's see what Cole's got to say here. Hey, mate, want to update your shirt design? Uh, sure. Let's make it a bit more. Oh yeah, I love this new design. Yes, sir. I haven't talked to these guys yet. Fashion's a way to show this is who I am. And when it's really sublime, it says, this is what the world is right now. But what is the world right now? Hmm. Beanie in a pocket jacket. That's the outfit I'm looking for right now. If you can show it to me, I'll give you something cool. Beating a pocket jacket. Do I have a beanie and didn't I have a pocket jacket? Oh, hoodie. Hmm. Weird. Little spurts. Who's on here yet? I'm gonna find said pocket jacket. Come on, let me throw you fuck. Well, I guess now we can't go over here.
No. Well, fine, game says no. Fuck. Eh. Who's this guy? Karkala. Oh, hey. I can check out your art here. It's amazing how much your color adds. So much energy. It's like you brought this place to life. Can I bring you to life, sir? Well, I certainly brought something there. Gulp swamp. So I'm not sure what to do now. Cause we just learned that our that our friend's depressed or something like that. Maybe there's something back in the Yum Cave that I missed. No, cause I'm fucking over there. Okay, so I can't stand on those mushrooms. It seems. So we have a circle right around here. So this is where I was before. Call home and go ahead and what to do next. Yeah, because I don't really know what else to do. Uh, hello? Hey, Mom. Oh, pizza. Is everything okay? You explain your whole situation to Mom. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, here's what I think. You should go through the nipple tunnel. It should be north, not too far from your house. That would take you to where I live, in Pondalock. And from there you can find the Wheeler Temple. I hope that helps. Thanks for calling, Pizza. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, hang on. Your dad has something to say. He does have a tendency to over-explain things sometimes. Should I put him on the phone? Yeah, let's just put him on. Okay, I'll put him on. Hey there, uh, kiddo. Listen up. You gotta fucking... Uh, you gotta get in there. You gotta... Give him the old one twos and such. You sure fucking get in there. Walk through a gap in the fence of the garden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll fight over there. Interesting. Black bear. I hope you learned your lesson. Don't meddle in wielder stuff. This isn't some game, kiddo. Letting her brush be taken. She's even worse than I thought. But that doesn't change you messed up. Go return it. Well, I tried to, but she didn't really want it. 
Can we go back to the tree? No. What happens if I paint all of this? That does nothing. Okay, well. Eh, worth a try. I haven't gone over this way yet, have I? Oh, yes, I have. Okay, this is where I got the other thing. Okay, so I just gotta go to the Yum Cave again. Look at all these colorful little gems and mushrooms and stuff. Yeah, where is this again? Okay, I'll just get the, the extra gift there. Sometimes I fork ore. He just digs into that. I'm just gonna knock out this way. Let's go over here. Anything you gotta say now? Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Thanks again. Sure, whatever. I go back to talking to. Hmm. Okay, still can't do anything with her. Yeah, well. Nibble tunnel it is, I suppose. So north of here. I said there's like a gap somewhere. Oh there. Okay, I didn't even realize that. Interesting. Okay, there's a nibble tunnel there. But before I go in there, I want to go ahead and get this gift. Pocket jacket. There we are. Now we can go back to the uh, the cafe thing. And get that oats guy what he's going for. Does he have a friend named Hall, though? Quite curious. Right, so we go back down here. Whatever the hell that cafe place was. I wonder where that one person went off to, though. Let's see here. Whoa! I'm really feeling your style. It's exactly what I've been looking for. For that, here's something cool. Shades. Fuck here. Yeah. Not gonna put them on, though. A fashion master knows the right time to wear something. I know you'll wield that with mystery, with mastery too. But I think I'm looking for a new outfit now. The sun over the flowers. Oh, I know what that means. Uh, sun hat and flower dress. Whoa, that look is perfectly on point. It speaks to me. For that, here's something cool. Tinted shades. Nice. But I think I'm looking for a new outfit now. A howdy to the stars. Do I have anything like that? Uh, hmm. Pink horn, striped teeth, starry tea. Room cap. Howdy to the star. So I need like a cowboy hat or something? Or a bandana? 
No. Uh, it's not that. No. I'm fond of Bandit. I don't know. There's still some things I need to get. Who are you? Peppermint. You're the new wielder, right? So you designed this shirt? Well, I really like it. It really speaks to me on a deep level. I can't wait to see what else you do. How about all this? You, you like all this? Huh? You, you like this shit going on? Yeah? Is that amazing? Do you like to be inked on by my fucking... Whatever the hell. God damn it. Pumper nickel. This is normal for colors to fade out over time. But I've never heard of them vanishing like this. I've never seen the wielder's tower blank before. But it's to be expected if you leave the hands of the brush with novices like chicory. Blackberry would know what to do. Chicory seems to be in a fucking her own state right now, so I would agree that she's not in the best position right now to do anything. But even still, I'll go fuck yourself. Okay. Nice toxic tunnel we got ourselves going on here. <laughs> Light up the bath. Don't know where the hell it is we going. <laughs> Dinner's this way. It's uh, nothing over that way, apparently. Sit down to potluck. This don't seem like potluck. This seems like a bunch of poop luck. I don't much like the poop luck. See all the colors going on here. No light shall be unlit by myself. So I kind of turn that off. Split. That's a fun looking hole. Oh, cool. Do you fucking take me off, you little bitch? Little bug fucks. What's here? Black dress. Interesting. Perhaps be the howdy to the stars that we need. Maybe so. Yeah, 
You fucking bitches. Oink. That's so. all. Hang on, you want to get this gift? Big star. back to my mother's house. Feels like a dangerous route to get back to there. this out of the way. This don't seem kosher. Ah, potluck. Oh, and here's my dad. Oi, kiddo! Hey, dad. Finally get away from your girlfriend to visit. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't like the gays. <laughs> uh, good to see you, though. Ma says you're the wielder now. Proud of you, kiddo. Wanna give me a hand with something? I want the holy shop to get colored again. Something flashy. Oof. Oh yeah. Pizza that looks great. Thanks so much. Oh yeah, I have something for you. Now that you're traveling around so much, I don't want you getting lost. A camera map. Nice. It's one of those fancy new camera maps. So you can take photos with it and stuff too. Just press X to open it. I'll head back home now. Call us if you ever need anything. Tapioca. Oh goodness. Ah, welcome to the holy shop. And before you ask, no, we don't have any of the color specials. Sorry. Our holies got wiped with everything else. Oh, wait a second. You're the wielder. Listen, we need your help. We need you to design a new special holy. Sweet. The color special is basically the only reason people come. Decorate away. Dude. So we get to choose which color we can do. Let's say we go... Here. And get a little splash of it on the other side. Shit. On the outside, of course. Mm. 
Gotta craft the proper don't. Can't have be all mamby pamby and whatnot. I said not mamby pamby, you stupid fuck. What kind of messes it up for me a bit, though, is that it looks too pixely. Like the paintings on here, the art of it kind of looks too pixely. I would have liked it if it was, like, more of a... Like, more of an actual kind of paint stroking instead of just, like, you know, telling that it's obviously digital art. I feel like that kind of messes it up a bit. Yeah, we're done. Ah, oh, it's perfect! I'll get started extracting the colors. I'll have to make it a ton. I'm sure people will be lining up any minute. Oi! I'll set bump for Oli. I'm getting fired up. The colors are cool too. I wonder how they get on the, those on food. <sighs> I love your new color special. How did you make a holy look so beautiful? Please just call them donuts. Stop calling them holies. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I almost don't want to eat it. I'll take a million pictures once I get my hands on it. It's guac. Young people these days, man. They barely make time to talk to others, man. Maybe they'll interact once, but then they move on. And they go to that stupid Twitter accounts. Don't they realize how much they're missing, man? I try to interact with everyone multiple times. Even when they do interact, they use B to skip through the conversation quickly. Why can't they take the time to pause and listen? Maybe I'm just slow. I appreciate you stopping to listen. Maybe the young folks are doing alright after all. Why don't you take this, man? Some trash. Uh, thanks. Custard. Triacle. Triacle? Hmm. What's a good voice here? Hmm. The new wielder. What an honor. Did you come because of our boy Turnip? Yes, yes, we sent him. We saw the strange growth on the temple of with our own eyes. What's worse, the way in is completely blocked. Yeah, we were hoping to go see the art. It's usually so lovely. What's about this art then, you fucks? Granny da. Hello. Hello. Grits. You see my little bro turnip? He went to luncheon looking for the wielder, but he never came back. Knowing him, he probably got lost in the way. Lost kid. Dang it. <laughs> All these gold darn lost kids. Who are these here? Clementine. Clementine! Bates! Mom said you might be visiting. How amazing. Oh, this is my BFF radish. I'm so honored to meet a famous talent like you. Um, thanks. People like your sister and I bust our butts every day. Practicing art, owning our craft, just to get a shot at maybe someday wielding status like yours. You must be some kind of genius. Um, come to a class sometime. I'd love to learn from a master like you. Sorry, I promise she's not always like that. She's right, though. She is? Definitely. You should come to an art class. Uh-oh. They're inside here. Do it! I guess we'll do some art class. Wow, you really showed up. Are you gonna take a class with us? 
Can't wait to see how good you really are. Oh, what an honor to meet you. I'm a professor here at the Academy. No matter your skill level, it's always good to practice and study. Want to take a class with us? All right. <clears throat> take your places, everyone. Today's lesson is very special. Pizza, the new wielder, is here with us. This will be interesting. Everyone get your brush styles ready. Um, what, uh, what are those again? Oh, Raisin. You really should know the terminology by now. Why don't we hear it from our special guest? Uh, Peter? Oh, well, it's... A preset shape that's for, uh... Your brush to... Decorate drawings. That's right. Could you demonstrate one? Oh, uh... I left them at home. I'm sure you have more important things to remember. Take this starter set. The brush style starter kit. <laughs> remember, you can equip a brush style at any time using those different directions. All right, for today's assignment, I want you all to draw something that expresses joy. Get to it. Brushes down. Now we move on to the critique phase. Time to show your work. <laughs> There's mine. Wow. So this is the work of a real wielder. Yeah. That's the... It feels so good to look at it. You get it quite light. The shapes are complex. There's a lot to think about. I appreciate your minimalist color choices. I like how you interpreted joy. My joy doesn't feel the same as this, but I feel like I really understand yours now. Excuse me? Does no one else see how... Looks right to me. I want to take it home to Mom and Dad. Well, that's it for now. Next class, we'll do a master study. I hope you join us. And everybody, keep practicing. I mean, you're all a bunch of weak sauce fucking freaks around here, so you're definitely going to have to square up on if you want to have some sort of... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm surprised everyone already knows I'm the wielder. Word travels fast. Students here are more interested than anyone to know who the wielder is. It's a big deal to some of us. Not me so much, but I'm super stoked for you. Want to take a class with us? I think this is a, an achievement we can have taking all the art classes. Welcome back, Pizza. I'm so glad you could join us for another class. We're all thrilled. Take a look at this classic painting. Okay. Here in the Garden by Quindam. I want you to recreate it. And perhaps adapt it to your own style. Get to it. Okay, well. Uh, uh, no, hold on. Here.
Yes, it's all coming together. The no, not yet one. Brushes down. Let's see how we did. Good. Uh, is that what it looks like to you? It's like right there in the garden. Hello, Mr. Farmer. The essential essence is here. I like the use of negative space on the top. It's equally light and dark. It's clear and simple. It's really interesting, Pizza. I wouldn't have thought to take it that way. Okay, that's it for now. Your piece will be in the Elven... Elevenesses... Elevenses Master Gallery piece. The curator there will be very excited to see it. You should all pay the Elevenses Gallery a visit sometime. And keep practicing. No. Interested in more art classes? Well, we're all out for now. Go find a new brush style, then come back. Well, all right then. Listen up. Everyone here may love you just because you're the wielder, but that doesn't make you a real artist. So don't go getting a big head. That's all. I know I come off rude. It's because I see things the way they are. I'm not afraid to say it. That's why I'm gonna be the best. Anyone can be an artist. But to be the best, that takes hard work. You can't just cheat your way there. Got that? Shit. I guess everyone's extra surprised. Because the wheeler usually comes from this academy. People study here hoping to get noticed. What about you? I just like art. Being the wheeler is a whole other thing. Are you enjoying it? Um, I guess so. Cool. I hope you follow your bliss. All right, what's um, what's up here? Oh, Carcola again. You know what feels real good? Double tapping the draw or erase button. Oh yeah, it makes a big satisfying blob of paint. Just thinking about it gives me the shivers. Art's a visceral thing for me. I do it because it brings me pleasure. I love double tapping and just like, oh, <laughs> smack stuff with color. Brush styles are really fun too. Oh yeah. Brussels sprout. You're the wielder? Wow. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm working hard on art too. Uh, hey. I'm also working hard on uh, 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 um, uh, uh, calligraphy. Uh, uh, shit. I hope I can be a wielder someday. Uh, do you want to um, fuck? Uh, see some of my art? Sure. Uh, uh, never mind. It's not good enough yet. It's never going to be good enough. Never clean. Never clean. I also really like video games. Uh, I'm the best in school at Mega Mash Sisters. It's not as dirty as it sounds. I promise you, it's not a porn game. Uh, I'm terrible at that game. Oh, oh, okay. You probably wouldn't enjoy playing with me then. I'm kind of fucking lead over here. Do you love making art too? It's my favorite way to relax. And also forget about the fights at home. Every night, some sort of fight, and I never feel right. I like holding down the draw or erase button and keeping my brush nice and still. Nice and still like the night Paul left me. And now the step Paul's gonna be in here even more drunk and stupid. Have you tried that? Have you tried being happy in any way? 
because I sure haven't until I came here. It fills things up in a satisfying way, much how much much like how my pa filled up his liquor bottles every night and he threw them through our neighbor's windows. They were black. He didn't like them very much. I don't approve of it. Lots of stuff makes me feel up and down. It's really hard to make sense of it all. But when I sit down to make something, I fuck it all up, but I claim it as art. I feel this kind of clarity. And by putting that stuff out of me and onto the page, I can kind of start to make sense of it. But only a little bit, because I'm a bit of a southern dumbass. Making art's a good way to spend your time. I guess not everyone loves it as much as me. But I feel like it's good for everyone to do, at least a little bit. Or else you're gonna be ended up with, in Jonestown with your pants around your ankles, wondering where the fuck your wallet went off to. Those goddamn fucking thieves. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this silly. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Is this a thing where, um... What is with this sign here? Is this like a fast travel kind of thing? I thought it would have been, but apparently it's not. Who's this person? Couscous. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do! The people of Hell Elevens is are trapped! There was some kind of rock slide. My family is there. And the old wielder, Cardamom. But I don't know what anyone can do about it. I can help. I'm the new wielder, actually. But doesn't that just mean you're an artist? In other words, you're fucking useless to me? What can you do about fallen rocks? Oh, I don't know. I could probably lift them. But I'll figure it out. Oh, my family's fucking dead. Oh, sweet Jesus. There's a wielder temple. What is this thing? It's blocking the way to the temple. Ah, it must be more old wielder stuff. I guess I better ask some wielder about it. But, preferably not blackberry. Or chicory. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> Appy Foothills and Elevens is this way. Appy Foothills. Oh my good god. What the hell is that? Alright. Apparently we got springy things. Okay, so now we got springy plants we can use to get across and get the gift. A flower. There's the rocks that I painted. <laughs> That. Well, shit. Interesting. Quick. Okay. <laughs> What's going on here? 
salt. Hey, welcome to the clothing swap. In today's modern world, who has time to look for clothes, am I right? Do you ever see gifts just out of reach or worried you missed some entirely? Well, now you don't have to worry. We can get you just about any clothes out there. Just give us a piece of clothing to take its place. Hence, clothing swap. Now serving luncheon and supper woods. Also, the nibble tunnel. Want to swap a piece of clothing? Uh, sure. Great. First, pick what clothing you want. Um. Oh, do you still want to swap? All they have is kerchiefs. Great. <laughs> I'm the runner for the clothing swap. I can run clothes out to any gift and picnic. If you want to do any swapping, talk to Salt. Right. <laughs> Barley. Back when I was young, it was all about abstractionism. That's when mustard was wielder. Everything was weird. But you know what? It was good. Nowadays, people want things to be beautiful. But I liked when wielder for wacky. Is this wacky enough for you? How about this? Does this, does this fill your wacky needs, you crazy fucker? You ask me, Podluck's the best place in the picnic. Bigger than luncheon, but not so big and noisy as dinners to the north. The Art Academy fills the town with bright, creative kids. And we're right on the edge of the big drink. <laughs> Nothing makes me happy like listening to the waves morning and night. Hey, have you seen the metal workshop east of town? There's a fellow who crafts wonderful things there. Sometimes you can hear him working late into the night. And also sometimes you can hear him beating his wife out there or beating his meat or whatever fucking one comes out there. I really couldn't tell you. It's really a weird sight. <laughs> How would one get over there, though? There's a lot of interesting pieces of places here. So I already came over here. Broccoli. I study and teach art history here. Recent events have proven to be quite a crisis. We never anticipated such a sudden drastic loss of color. I mean, I wasn't really much color to begin with considering I'm a fucking zebra, but... <laughs> so many old wielder artworks have vanished at once. For some pieces, all we have are black and white reproductions. Much like myself being a reproduction of a horse. Generally, wielder colors do fade very, very slowly. Slowly enough that you barely notice in a lifetime. That's something we need to know thanks to the th work of Dr. Cheese. Don't ask what the doctor part's for. It's also why we need wielders to occasionally touch up old works. I suppose you've got your work cut out for you. As a historian, I've got a lot to do too. Reviewing everything we've lost and preserving what we can. Everyone at the academy is in a frenzy, I can tell you that. If you're in a, ch a chance, if you ever have a chance to stop by there, well, I'm sure you have your own problems. <laughs> Miso. Miso, you've gotten so much taller. Pizza, you're still really short. Hiya. What you're doing with your heart, your star now? Uncle Roger don't like that. Wait, I thought your name was Miso. Yeah, I'm also Uncle Roger. Hiya. <laughs> I'm almost done school now. 
That's so cool. I can't believe he grew up so fast. Well, I can't believe my old babysitter is the wielder. Fuyo. <laughs> Talk about bluegrass, am I right? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, well, I think that's all I'm going to be doing for this game for today. Um, I know I'm still in like a couple chapters to go probably but you know I wasn't really setting out to beat the whole game today I guess I just wanted to check out to see what it was about it's a very interesting kind of game I like the painting mechanic where you just like go and just scribble shit around there I obviously don't know much about colors so I'm just obviously paint shit around but yeah this is an interesting game if you guys want to try it out for yourself if you have uh, Xbox Game Pass it is available on there right now or whatever system you got it on. I think it's on like uh, PS4, PS5, Steam, Switch. Pretty much on all the consoles these days. So if you want to buy it on there. Or if you got Game Pass on here. You can get it for free that way. And you can see the whole story for yourself. I'd really recommend it from what little I've played today. It seems like a very interesting kind of game. And I imagine a lot of artistic people would be lost in the... Um, painting mechanic because it's just so fun to just have your own kind of freedom and just splatter around colors just doing what the fuck ever but uh, yeah and I, as I said I will try to have a more consistent schedule next week like actually having all four days of the week um, planned out better and I'll probably think of some new series to do because the last two I tried to do like Wolfenstein and Diablo were not really doing too well but anyways, if any of you are new to the streams here, if you were just uh, lurking in the chat and you find yourself interested in this channel, be sure, be sure to subscribe and bring in other people you know that might be similarly interested. Any kind of support you can toss my way would be greatly appreciated, but that's pretty much all I got for this stream. So thank y'all so much as always for tuning in, and remember, it's fine if it's a flop or a hit, because media is media, no matter how shit. See y'all next time.